We're up here on the uh, front right clamp. Um, this is a good spot that we recommend uh, using Loctite. You can either use blue or red. The red's a permanent, um, heavier strength Loctite, and the blue is a medium grade. We use blue because that's what we had laying around the shop. But uh, by putting the Loctite up there, that'll keep and ensure those bolts from coming loose. That makes it real nice and, and sturdy up there. All right, Nathan, looks like we're at uh, 55 inches back here. Same as the port, and if we're at our number here, I'm gonna call that 15. It's a little close on the back edge, but I think we're there. All right, hold it tight there, Nathan. We're gonna go ahead and drill. Go ahead and we'll make, I'll make some little marks here. Nice and slow so that we can uh, get nice and centered there. And then we'll lift this out of place. You ready to go to move aft? Let's go, nice and slow. All right, that looks good. That does, that looks really good. You wanna start pulling that blue tape as I rock this back, Nathan? Yeah. Okay, all right, can you rock, rock it back for me? Sure, will do. It's real key to put a foot against the back edge so it doesn't slide on you. It's a good idea to use a countersink drill bit so that you can chamfer the edges down here so that uh, when you use your drill bit, you don't get any gel coat chipping or, or cracking because that's definitely what we don't want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of center it up here. I'm gonna do just a, just a little bit on each one of these. All right, looks like we're good. Let's go ahead and continue in all the other three legs, Nathan, and we'll be ready to put this down with some 5200. We've now got a, a tube of marine grade 5200 made by 3M. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an X pattern between these, this bolt and that bolt, and this one and that. What we're gonna do is make a small bead from this hole and just let it flow evenly all the way across. And then we're gonna go ahead and do, do it to the other side. just enough so it evenly has a little bit of a layer under these feet. That way we get a nice seal so we don't have any water going into the deck. That's the last thing we want. And it also will help bond the uh, underside of this tower to the deck and give it some structural strength. Okay, I'm gonna lower this thing down slowly as we go. I'm gonna put, put one bolt in the back there, Nathan. Okay. So as you come down, you can kinda get lined up. We'll hold it right there so we can kinda get all four bolts kind of lined up in the holes. There. What we're doing here is we're only putting these in halfway, and the reason being is so they'll kind of keep the T-top, the front legs kind of pinned, so we can tilt the back up a little bit, put our 5200 under it, tilt it back down, and then we'll go ahead and put the bolts through. What you're going to want to do on the back feet is the same, same process that we did on the front feet. You're going to make a little X bead of the marine grade caulking. Now you want to be kind of generous because this is what's uh, keeping the water out of the, out of those holes right there. <laughs> are we ready to go down? We are ready to go down, Ryan. Okay. All right, let's put these bolts through and tighten her down. Okay, now when once we've completely fastened the T-top to the deck, we're gonna make sure that we get all the excess 3M5200 off the deck. And the best way to do that is with a Scott towel or a rag and a little lacquer thinner. You might be able to use a little bit of cardboard like this to go around and trim it first so it doesn't smear, kinda. Of. Nice. 
That was a great idea, Ryan. I really appreciate that. You know, that makes this install that much easier. Clean it up and look how nice and clean that edge looks. All right, we've now taken our uh, aft part of the Bimini fr or the T-top frame here. We're just gonna go ahead and slide it forward, Nathan. I'm pretty snug here. Now let's just pop it in place. Oh, that was easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bolt in just to kind of get the place placement correct. A couple turns on it just to hold it. You wanna go ahead and get yours in. Come back here and hold the weight of it. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and lamicoat the remainder of the bolts uh, and then re lamicoat the one that's holding it in temporarily. Go ahead and tighten the lamicoated nuts and then remove the temporary bolt and add a little bit of this and go ahead and tighten the rest of the screws. Okay, now Ryan is snugging down the bolts, making sure they're nice and tight. We'll do that to uh, all the hardware after, after we finish uh, getting this back section on. All right, my side's there. Looking pretty good overall. When Nathan's done with that, I'll go ahead and I'll work my way around the top here, tightening the rest of these things. And, and our next step, we'll be putting our canvas top up here on the frame. We've got a couple shortcuts to helping you do it. So we'll walk you through that as we go. Man, this looks good on the boat, Nathan. I can't wait to go out and use our new Striker T-top. The other brands that they offer out there, the gauge of aluminum is too thin. And I believe that this is one of the strongest T-tops on the market right now. It's really important to go around and make sure that all the bolts are tight with the Lamacoat. That way nothing comes loose while you're underway. <laughs> 